Hey guys, what's up? Awesome Hit you teach here. Welcome back to another tech tutorial. Uh, last time I showed you how to make the infinite EU generator using geothermal power, and I'm just ha I have terraformers because this is my test world, so it's I'm testing the power of terraformers. So you've seen how to make this, and I'm going to start just doing these maybe once a week. Now maybe next episode, I don't know, basics of red power, anything like that. This I decided not to use that because, in my opinion, combining them is a good idea. Like th that and this. These are high voltage solar panels, super expensive to make, but uh, they're pretty good. I just have a bunch of things gaining power for the future reference. Uh, so this is my infinite EMC generator. EMC is the value to every item such as dirt is one stone is one cobble is one uh gold block is 18432 you know and each item now in the new update for ticket will tell you exactly how much emc each thing is worth now instead of using the energy condenser here i'm using an alchemy th uh chest you can make these chests pretty easily uh, actually, they, they're not really expensive. They only cost, uh, two iron, two stone, a chest, and three types of dust, which, over, and a diamond. Overall, you end up using just two diamonds. Don't worry about it. It's very easy to get. And this gem of eternal density automatically turns on. So every item that's chucked in here will be forced to the highest DMC value. But it will all, is, tr like, right now, it's making diamonds, gold, dark matter, and once we get roughly three and a half dark matter, we're gonna get a red matter. Red matter is the best thing in the game. All right, so I guess it's now time to show you how this thing works. Okay, so here in the rotary macerator, it's taking these things, and yes, it backs up kind of easy here. It's fixable. Don't worry. Uh, I'm gonna actually add. Do I want to add or no? I want to lower the time to that. So more is going to come out faster now. I don't know why it's not taking out uh, the right speed anymore. Oh, never mind. It is okay. Well, now I look stupid. All right. So when you take a blaze rod and you put it in a crafting table, you get two blaze powder, correct? Well, if you macerate it, you get five. But the EMC value of blaze powder. Two will make a blaze rod reasonable, right? It's the equivalent. So, what happens is blaze rods go into the rotary macerator, creates blaze powder. When the blaze powder er, gets sucked out by these retrievers, three of it, which is the extra, come here into the chest. See, I got a red matter. Um, the other two come up here to the energy condenser. To where it makes blaze rods, and the retriever, which isn't one sec, I think. Now I know I don't need to because it's the only thing, but I'll just do that anyways. Um, I think it might speed it up, and then it comes back down into here. So it keeps making the profit blaze powder over here, but it's still using the same blaze rods. You can do this with one blaze rod, and that's it. Another simple machine that I've brought to you. Now, as well, I just want to explain to you that you can make this as long as you want. But it's a pain. So, and the reason I have this lever here is to start this thing at max power. So, this is the max power. This is one of the special ones, Rotary Macerator. It's like the grown-up machines. Now, this, the lever, well, any redstone power that goes into this will keep that up to the max power once it's at full. So, I did that while I was building it, and this was already up the air when I was about to run it. Uh, this don't take long to build. Uh, if you guys want me to start building these, then tell me. And the next episode will probably be basics of something. So, yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.